crazies. First off, yes, this movie doesn't particularly go anywhere where we haven't already seen horror movies go before. And no, the presentation is not original either if you look at recent horror movie outings. However, it largely delivers, and I think that's always worth noting. Now, I should probably say I haven't actually watched the original by George A. Romero, but I'd like to. I'm a big fan of his. I just haven't been able to find a copy. But I do hear that this is a far superior remake. This is my first exposure to the director and both writers. Now, I understand that the director also directed Sahara with Matthew McConaughey and Steve Zahn. I probably wouldn't be caught dead watching that. And one of the writers also wrote two other remakes of classic horror movies. The Amityville Horror and The Chainsaw Massacre. I haven't watched either of those. Although, I'll be honest, The Amityville Horror looked decent enough. Anyway, this is a very intense film. From start to finish, there's nearly constant tension throughout. Now, how they did this, and why it works, is that character development and build-up, both quite necessary for a horror film to work, generally, are delivered very smoothly just as the movie unfolds. It doesn't slow down in order to flesh out the characters or build up the mood. They just kind of come naturally. And while that may somewhat lead to there being less character development, possibly also less build-up than in a film that does devote more time to it, I'd say it musters up enough of both. I was never bored, and hardly anything in the film felt like it just came out of nowhere. With that said, it's also quite surprising. The payoffs are really good, although not everything does lead to something. The acting's quite good. I like that this fits in a little paranoia, and, and you get, like, glimpses of, you know, what it does to someone's mind when they're in a very tense situation for a prolonged period of time. The editing and cinematography are good, if not revolutionary, and there are a couple of times where, because of the way it's cut or shot, you can't completely tell what's this tends to feel fairly realistic. The effects are excellent in all respects. In addition to being terrifying, this is also very eerie and creepy at times. There are many jump scares, and a couple of them are pretty cheap. But on the whole, it definitely delivers. There's a lot of disturbing content, and... There's a lot of disturbing content, and it can be pretty violent, at times brutal and bloody. But there really isn't very much gore, and what there is, is very effectively used. I can literally barely believe that I'm actually saying this about a recent horror flick, but hardly anything in this is gratuitous. It does succumb to many of the genre's clichés, but I generally didn't find it to be bothersome. That's it for the spoiler-free review. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.